hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm glow with ng i'm a youtuber based in abuja and also a makeup artist based here in the city of abuja if you're stopping by for the first time welcome don't make this your last time go through my page go through my channel you have i have amazing content for you if you're a returning subscriber much love to you okay guys we are on our way to 1000 subscribers <gasps> Oh my god yes well it's been a long time coming and thank you all for your support for your love we are almost there we are just 40 subscribers less than a thousand subscribers and trust me i know you guys can do it now so let's take this channel to 1k subscribers so today's video i had um, a couple of people request um i do a budget analysis for the trip I had or the weekend getaway I had to Amal Farm so I just want to do a short video to give you guys the breakdown of the expenses or your budget or what your budget should be like okay so I'm going to be starting with accommodation so my friends and I we were there for three nights and four days three nights by we got there on Thursday and we left on Sunday morning or Sunday by 11 their checkout time is 12 so we arrived on Thursday and we went with a room um, for four persons. It's the it's the standard um, double standard hut. That was the room we went for. So it's it can contain four persons, but ideally it can contain six persons. Don't tell them I told you this, but it is big enough to contain six persons because the bed is like a family sized bed is big and there are two big beds in the room and the room is large so if you're a friend of six or a group of six or a group of four you can use that option we also they also have a standard twin hut for four people too but i didn't really see that one so like i said we stayed in the double standard hut for four people and it cost us ninety thousand five hundred per night okay so four people per room and we were four actually it cost us ninety thousand five hundred per night and we stayed for three nights so do the math you get the total of what we spent on accommodation so do the math and divide it by four that's for the accommodation so because that particular room takes four people you are entitled to complimentary um, breakfast for the four persons in that room okay so even if you guys are three in that room you can actually take breakfast for four because you are ideally entitled to breakfast for four in that room so they have other things they have like the single standard hot which is for sixty three thousand. they have the standard hot which is for seventy nine thousand. they have the studio hot which is for eighty one thousand. they have the studio suite which is for ninety seven thousand, and they have the executive suite which is for one hundred and fifty thousand. now okay so the hot with the one we took like it said like it implies is a hot so it has the whole mode and the whole asian um aesthetics decor and all that it's not the modern hotel like room it has the whole ancient aesthetic like the the wrapper curtains the wrapper duvets and all that it was quite pretty it was if you have not watched the video i upload i i uploaded before this one you would see what i'm talking about guys so that's it but for the ones that are called suits they are the normal hotel standard like um, apartment or rooms okay so that's that okay so i will talk briefly on their light schedule so okay the room we took do not have a tv it doesn't have a microwave so there are rooms that come with tv like the modern suite comes with tv and microwave but if you want the one that we took the ancient like kind of room it doesn't come with a tv or a microwave they also permit outdoor camping so you can actually get your tent they'll give you a space to mount your tent and you do the outdoor camping if that's what you want and another thing is their breakfast time is their complimentary breakfast time is from 8 a.m to 11 a.m anything other than that you've missed it so um let me talk briefly on their 
power supply so you their check-in time is 1 p.m and checkout time is 12 p.m power supply runs from so if there's no lights in the sun like if there's no direct lights from nepa they'll put on their gen from 6 p.m in the evening to 5 a.m in the morning okay so from 5 a.m to 7 a.m if there's no light in between they are not putting on the gen and you're going to be in total darkness well it's not that bad it was actually fun from 7 a.m to 10 a.m again if there's no power supply they put on the gen from 1 p.m to 3 p.m they put on the gen so that's just like the rundown of their power schedule and they have activities for for movie nights fridays for the game it's also complimentary the movie nights is complimentary to people who are lodged the bonfire the games the karaoke so we have the movie night for friday the football also for friday the bonfire night saturday the karaoke for sunday so that's like a brief rundown of things you are likely to expect them so moving on to um the activities that they have there yeah for the activities that they have there they have the outdoor camping like i said they have the horse riding they have kayaking they have the bike riding they have um hold on guys i'm trying to get the image for the rundown okay so they also have areas for picnic they have um they have a pool they have okay they have mini golf they have the golf they have basketball they have volleyball so most of these games are actually complementary to people who are lodged while others you pay so for the horse riding we have to pay for it for the bike riding you pay for it for swimming you don't pay for it if you're lodged for golf you pay for it for the basketball volleyball football whatever other um, ball sports it's complimentary you don't need to pay for it okay so now going to the feeding so i feel like the feeding is not so expensive in my opinion if i may say so it's not so expensive so the first day on arrival we we had um dinner in the intercontinental restaurant it was okay it was nice it wasn't so expensive because i feel per person we spent say seven eight thousand there for that meal but subsequently we were eating in the um nigerian restaurant there so that's where you have the whole native soup the um conventional rice that we have and all that so on an average if i would say if you want to eat large overly eat you should be spending 10 to 15 thousand naira at the spot but basically there was no time i personally spent above ten thousand naira on my meal all through my stay there so when it comes to their food their food was really nice especially from the native restaurants trust me guys it was really nice so the first day i had um coconut rice no not co jamaican rice and um beef steak with plantain subsequently we had spaghetti stir fry spaghetti we had their pepper soup we had their okra so majorly their food was actually really really nice the portion is nice it's sizable it's it can fool you but they are complimentary breakfast guys i wouldn't lie to you it's as if they were feeding children because they practically gave us like five pieces of yam and one tiny exos and their complimentary breakfast was the same thing for the four days it was on the last day that they now said oh they had other things on the menu for their complimentary breakfast but like, well, overall it was an amazing stay in our mouth farms it was fun full it was relaxed full. it was it was nice trust me so with all this you can make a total calculation and know how much you should budget if you're going it's it's fun if you go with someone your friend your boyfriend your husband your wife whatever but just go with someone i feel like it's more fun that way so guys thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe okay like i said all road leads to 1000 subscribers i'll see you in my next video bye